griddle from uh, Kitchen HQ. This is another brand I have been begging them to get back on the air. In fact, it's been so long since we had it on the air, we don't even have any additional support. We used to have like the, the factory footage because it's made in America and we're talking about a warranty that is better than your car. What is it? This is the blender that all other blenders wish they were when they grew up. It is the professional's choice and that is Blendtec. They are an American success story. They're really like a family concept. But the most important thing to me is this is the last blender you're ever gonna need. But it's more than a blender. It's a soup maker. It's an ice crusher. You can grind meat with this. You can puree, you know, baby food. You make margaritas, do snow cones. There's even a blender button. So brownies and cakes all day. Easy soup button, most powerful in history. Choose the red, choose the black. You also get the on-the-go size in addition to the people who invented the square blender. She's back. K -k -k Casey. Uh, it is. <laughs> Guess what else is back? She she's so hot, she doesn't even have to do anything warm. Which by the way, you can make soup in this. Yes, you but, can. See, welcome back. Yeah, oh we, my gosh. talk about a debut re-debut. Uh, yes, it's been three years. It's been three years. Okay, so we can't assume <laughs> We can't we can't make this stuff up. People always ask me if it's live television. Yes it is. It, it is. It's a hint smoky. It, it, it is. Uh, I, I will say this, Casey. If people have not heard the blend yeah. tech story. Power, power, power. Uh, Dan is my director today. There's even a great shot of, of the control panel because it's basically like eight appliances in one. But let's talk about the number one reason people get this. Yeah, the number one reason is because this is your all-in-one kitchen appliance. It is. It is so super powerful. Shannon, let me tell you, Blendtec invented the square jar. This is the total blender because it totally does it all. Now, it does. let me show you right out of the gate something that will absolutely impress you. And there's no way your blender at home can do this unless it's a Blendtec. Right. I've got grapes. I've got kale. I am putting in whole chunks even of, with the seeds in the even cantaloupe with the seed let me get some apple in there with the peel strawberry i've got the greens on my strawberry why not it's a blendtec blender you know when tom dixon invented blendtec blenders he did it because he got a shoddy blender for his wedding back in the 70s right, that, by the way <laughs> ice hey here's something that they're not doing no liquid. Zero if, liquid. If you've seen other blender demonstrations when they do their green juices, now here it's one button, right? One button. So six pre-programmed right. settings. I'm going to press the one over here that has whole juice. So okay. let's talk about some of the differences here with Blendtec. First okay. of all, where am I? I'm nowhere even near the blender. I stepped away with Shannon. The Blendtec blender, you can see it, you can hear it. It's pre-programmed with a brain inside that goes, you know what? Casey pressed whole juice. I'm gonna rev up right at the right amount of time. I'll rev back down to smooth things out. I'll rev back up to tackle that ice, crushing ice. Can your blender at home do it? If it can't, it's not a Blendtec. Now, you notice I don't have a stir stick or a nope, wand. No tamper. No tamper. Blendtec blenders are designed perfectly for commercial environments. They are. A restaurant, a smoothie shop, they don't have time to sit there and go diddly diddly do. They want it to do it on its own, right? No diddly diddly do. No diddly 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 do. Now take a look in front here, down below, right below what you're seeing here, it's got a countdown. So in seven seconds, five seconds, four, you know you're gonna get that perfect result. Now with a traditional juicer, you take out the fiber, right? You do. That's the pulp. I can't think Because that's of, where all the nutrients that's are. That's where the nutrients are. And when is, when's the last time a healthcare professional said, you know what, you need, Shannon, less fiber. No one has ever said that. <laughs> said no one. <laughs> this is perfect for foodies, for gourmets. Look at that. For moms, dads, grandparents, athletes. Now, what didn't come out of there? Lumps, yeah. stems, the fuzz on the cantaloupe. And you notice I gave you an itsy bitsy teeny weeny. Because you can. Yellow striped not a bikini oh, right. straw, but if you take a sip, yeah. you won't get clogged up with chunks and lumps. Unbelievable. Casey, I'm just gonna show them what they get Please again, because uh, you can hear me probably a little easier now. So two things are happening, and Angela, we've got how many of the red and how many of the black? In the, in the black, we have 330. In the red, we have 220. So if you're doing your math, this is a relaunch of a brand 
that I am obsessed with, <laughs> yeah. but it could be the first and last earring mm -hmm. because there are just a couple of hundred, a little over 300, a little over 200, and that's it. Casey already said this, American brand, they invented the square BPA, they, they invented this design. Yes, there are copycats out there, but this is what your juice bar, this is what your smoothie bar, this is what your restaurant is using to crush ice and make margaritas. They also have a unique blade design that Casey yep. is going to talk about. And the other thing about this is, you're getting this wonderful locking lid. You saw us walk away from it. You don't have to worry about splatter. It has one touch control operation. It replaces your soup maker. It replaces your ice crusher. It replaces your margarita maker. It replaces your juicer because it's better. It replaces even like, you know, your little uh, hand mixer because there's a blending function on there. And then you're also getting the on the go, this great um, kind of, you know, nutrient on the go uh, canister. It goes Go jar. The, the go jar. So what are we doing time. next, Casey? So what are the top three New Year's resolutions? Eat better, lose weight, and exercise every single year. So this blend tech configuration is going to get the job done for you because you will eat better when you're making things at home fresh and not getting prepackaged food. So here's that go jar. So essentially you're getting two blenders. Right. This has its own blade. Oh, that's true. Inside. So no, you're getting two separate blenders, yeah. the jar, the four-sided jar, and the micronizer that's, right. albeit not as powerful as that big kahuna of a blade that we're going to take a look at but it screws right into place yep. and then I can press the smoothie button and now my little go jar starts to emulsify and blend and create it also comes with a lid so you can take this lid and grab and go no, as the blend tech does this, the thing that's really important that you understand, and thank you for showing that little countdown and the little uh, cheat sheet. Yeah. I have owned, and I do actually mm. still own, that other blender. And I'm, I promise you this is not to put shame in their game. Yep. It was a little too complicated for me. It was, no, <laughs> yeah. but it was, it was designed for professional chefs. It yes. really was. Yes. Because um, there's like a lever, and you got to turn this little thing, and, and you then you got to tamp. And you need to know what you're doing. You do. And I'm also, I'm also, I love to cook, but I'm a lazy cook. Yes. I like little cheat sheet buttons. That's why I love the popcorn function on my microwave. You know, that's why I love the, you know. I don't want to think. Exactly. I'm not thinking all day. I, I, I don't know how long the baked potato takes. I just hit the baked potato button. Exactly. So exactly. you don't worry about tampers or levers or up and down. Look at and that. And then all you do is you pop the top off. And then it's called a go jar for a reason. It will fit into the little cup holder in your right. car. And then you can unscrew the lid that is attached so you don't lose it. And now you just chug a lug a lug and you've got your healthy protein smoothie. Take it to the gym. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. And so by there's the way, another resolution. Casey done. made a, a point for you that I really want you to take note of. When you go even to the juice bar, part of the reason they give you a straw that's the side of a, a, a ditch. <laughs> Is you know like the, or, or like the the drainage like ditches bubble, like a bubble tea straw <laughs> right like... is because they um, they're not able to do what Blend Tech is going to do. So let's talk about first of all American made. There's a warranty that's yes. probably better than your car. <laughs> yeah. If you have seen a blender with a square carafe design. Mm -hmm. This is actually where it all started, the exactly. OG. That's it. So Orem, Utah, it is nothing but families working hard to create this amazing Made in America product. Now, do not ever do this unless you have a Blendtec blender, because let me show you something really cool. Can you do this with your blender at home? This is a single wingtip piece of cold, forged steel. Why is that important? I was important? just going to say, why is that important? Because let me ask you a question. If okay. you have a big block of ice, Shannon, and you take a sharp little razor to it, how long is it going to take you to blast that ice versus yeah. slamming it with a sledgehammer? For sure. If you have a sharp blade on your blender, it's making up for a weak motor. It is. And by the way, the other thing about that is, and this is my own personal opinion, mm -hmm. it's harder to clean. Yes. So this is easy to clean. Here's the thing. We are very, very busy. Angela, we've got about, what, five? 500 total okay 540 total black is we've got a few more of the black a little over 300 of the black and then a, a little over 200 of the red we have been waiting for years for blend tech to come back you know that name and i'll just tell you right now blend tech does sell for a lot more money elsewhere mm -hmm. um, we wanted to bring them back with a in a big big way Let's talk about ice, because this is normally yes. the blender killer. When you see, you know, people always ask, can I do ice? 
I mean, this could practically grind concrete. It's, 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 it's so powerful. Actually, I'm serious about the that. the first viral videos on YouTube were Tom Dixon, the creator of Blendtec, golf balls, With golf iPhones, balls. rakes. He would just feed a rake. Now, yeah. please don't try that at home. But right. Just to tell you, that's what 15... Uh, 1,650 watts of power does. Now, so I've got that ice crush button. In fact, they've taken it a step further and given you a little margarita icon. So if I hit the margarita icon, take a look at this ice, wow. Shannon. This is giving me a little bit of a reminder of where I just came from, the land of snow, north <laughs> in Canada. Can see, I'm, I'm like an honorary Canadian, so I can say that. I mean, so we, we flew Casey in from the Great White North, I mean, practically my hometown. But when we say snow cone maker, soup maker, margarita maker, juice extraction, and keeping those nutrients in with more power, this is what, 1,500 watts, something 1560 like that? 1,560 watts 1560 of power. 1,560 watts. I'm just telling this? you, it could like power a car, for crying out loud. Okay. I mean, chances are your lawnmower engine isn't as powerful. <laughs> no, I'm serious true. about this. Your lawnmower engine probably isn't as powerful as this. Let me put this into perspective. Okay. A little countertop blender yeah. that a lot of people love and go crazy for yeah. is generally speaking 250 watts of power. And this is 1,560 <laughs> watts. watts of power. Why is that important? Because this is the same blender that the pros use. It is. You can also circumvent the pre-programmed settings. I'm going to press the margarita button because I'm not circumventing anything here. I want a great margarita, but you can start and stop at any time you like, and you also have the ability to power up and power down if that's something that you want to do also. So I'm going to add some more ice in here. And by the way, you don't even have to stop it to add more ice because there's a little lid here on the top that you could always pop open if that's what you want to do. So for those of you that are serious about incredible drinks, whether it's frozen wow. margaritas, and whether it's poolside patio, this will do it, it. It is. Hey, by the way, and, and Dan, if it's easier to do, we can do it on either one of these. But um, the key thing that I want to keep going back to that Casey is demonstrating is these shortcut keys. Yes. So the thing is, and I'm not, I, I promise you, I love that other blender too. I, I bought it at one point in my mm -hmm. life. It was like $600. It's a great blender, but it really was too, I, I, I actually gave it to somebody else because <laughs> it, it was too hard for me to yeah. work. I mean, yeah. it, was, it was designed for chefs. This is the same power, in fact, probably more power than in your restaurant or professional restaurant. But you see these little quick keys? That's a little whisk. That's your brownie batter. That's So it's going to replace your mixer. That margarita that Casey just made, grind ice, grind meat for that matter. That is how powerful this is. You want to do your smoothies. You want to do ice cream with this. You could even turn cabbage into a cream sickle. This is that fresh juice, that green juice that Casey did. And if you heard it, we might do one more of those just so you can hear how it um actually d knows when to like tamper and pulse because you don't touch anything. And then that last button, I just want to show that off, Dan. It's the soup, the soup, the soup. soup. Which, the soup, the soup, the soup. So she is also your soup lady. Yes, so now it's a soup maker too. So this is Blendtec's famous tortilla soup. If you're looking at this going, okay, when I get my Blendtec blender, how am I going to know? There are recipes, there thousands are. of them at Blendtec's website, but I'm gonna give that hot soup button just a push. Yeah. We've got onion, raw. By the way, go to your crisper, grab your ingredients raw. Tomato, red pepper, onion, garlic, Monterey Jack cheese. Toss in some cumin, and away you go. This is taking fresh, raw ingredients and transforming them into incredible recipes. It, it is. By the way, it takes just a couple of minutes, so we're just going to, you know, move it a little out of range of our microphones. Because they made our microphones more sensitive in the time that you've been here, <laughs> which I'm not happy about <laughs> for more lots sensitive. of reasons. More sensitive. We're loud enough. I don't even think. <laughs> exactly, right? Just kidding who? I know. So what are you doing here, So Kate? I'm using that go jar, and I'm showing you an absolute favorite. We've got this recipe at Blendtec's website as well. So I'm taking frozen coffee. If you've got that pot of coffee that's sitting there and maybe you didn't finish it, freeze it up and I'm putting it into the go jar to make that perfect, incredible, high-end coffee frappe. Now is that um, like is that like an do you have an 
almond milk. You yes, can use we're any using kind of milk. an almond milk, and okay. I'm going to show you momentarily how to make cashew milk. You can make oat milk. So instead of buying those Tetra packs yeah. of who knows what kind of <laughs> milk that's been sitting on the shelf, milk alternative, we're going to be doing it fresh. So I'm going to press that frozen margarita button. Yeah. Now, as Casey does that, I'll just remind you, uh, and thanks for the shots, guys. I know that there's a lot going on with this. It's the first time back in several years that what we call on-the-go jar has its own specialized kind of grinding base. So like Casey said, it's almost like getting two blenders. So again, it has a similar concept, only kind of a scaled down design. You are also getting this. There's that unique little grinder base that is also part of the on-the-go jar. Then remember, you're also getting the famous square BPA free carafe with that flat blade design that professional restaurants and smoothie bars use. Again, you go to that smoothie king place, you know, queen, <laughs> yes. all of those places. Yeah. If you look behind, if you see a square carafe, it is a blend tank. They originated that. Do you already have that frozen coffee drink? I have the frozen. Watch this. I'm just going to gently guide it in here because it's 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 a true, you know what it is. I see, you know, my 19-year-old my son walks around with a big fat straw in his high-priced frozen coffee drink. And I'm saying, hey, come on. That's like half an, uh, you know, your hourly wage oh, yeah. at the restaurant that he works at. And then, you know, we got to take it the extra mile, Shannon, because... Look oh, at that. God. Just like the pros do. More is more. In your, you know what I'd do? I'd add a bit of protein powder and say, you know what? I did my part. I've added yeah, a little something, exactly. something into there. I feel better about it. And, and how good does that look? And you will too. Here's the other thing about this. There is a 30-day unconditional money-back mm -hmm. guarantee. Listen, I know that we sell a lot of blenders in a lot of different price ranges, but I will tell you that phrase, go big or go home, this is probably mm -hmm. going to be the last blender that you will ever buy. I'm serious about that. Yeah. It probably has more wattage or power than your lawnmower. And not only that, we are doing our 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Today is the last day for five flex pay. So if you do have somebody who's gluten intolerant or just really wants to do, you know, the health thing. I mean, I'm yeah. talking about the convenience of this because it's replacing like six things. Well, but it, what are you doing there? So I've taken cashews. So if you're doing a nut milk, if you're doing almond milk, cashew milk, any type of nut milk really, soak the nuts overnight and add a little bit of vanilla, a pinch of sea salt, and you are going to get the frothiest, most delicious wholesome, incredible recipe. You can also not add the water and get a cashew butter. You oh, can do nice. your nut butters in your Blendtec blender as well. But let me show you what this looks like and then let me remind you of something. If you are already super health conscious, you probably already have a Blendtec blender yeah. because this has been a cult favorite for, abs for decades, truly decades. I've had mine since 2011, and the good news is, look how frothy that is. Look at is. how beautiful that is. Every good choice you make, and every Blendtec usage is a good choice, will be recorded on the front of your Blendtec blender. So if you use this a thousand times, it'll say a thousand. If you use wow. it 15,000 times, 15,000, and trust me, you will. But can you can you believe okay, that? Look at how beautiful that is. Uh, almost looks like a milkshake. That's how creamy oh and, and fine this is. Um, here's the thing, and as we go, I'm just going to do a little quantity Please update as we, as we get ready to yep. show off the Please soup. Do. <laughs> if you want it, uh, I think, Angela, you said about 500 only. So we have 516 of that, just I think a little over 300 of the black, and then basically about 200 of the red. Casey, I think the soup is do you ready. you want to grab the soup? But, yeah, in fact, and, let's and do this. And here's what we're gonna do. You, I, put it in front of your apron, because you've oh, got a nice dark yeah, color. Do you want to do it over here? Do you okay. Do it over here? Perfect, because okay, I, I want you to see look that at there's the steam. steam. Because we haven't even explained this yet, Shannon, but people are probably wondering, wait, does this have an element? How is it doing this? So there you Look can see the that. steam against my apron. With no heating element. No how how heating come? How can it Power. do that? Friction. When you've got extreme friction coming yeah. off that blade, you're going to get incredible results. Now, I'm going to pour it for you right here. Okay, into now the this bowl. is their famous Blend Tech tortilla, tortilla soup. Tortilla. I want something <laughs> creamy too. Are you going to do something creamy for me? Yeah, I am. I'm going to do okay. a creamy cauliflower soup. You may never leave the home again yeah. once you learn this recipe nice. at blendtech.com. Tens of thousands actually of recipes uploaded there. Some great ones. I just saw yeah. they have a um, dupe for Dole Whip. 
Oh, you no can make kidding. a Dole Whip. I mean, like they do at the Disney parks. Exactly. Okay, so what is this again? So here we've got raw cauliflower going into this. Yep. You can, can actually put your cauliflower in here and do cauliflower rice. We've got veggies. We've got cheese. This is the last appliance you will ever need in your kitchen because now true. your soup maker's gone, your immersion blender's gone. Everything you need is here in this one appliance and with one press yeah. of a button. And, and don't be fooled, this isn't just about timing. One button. It's about the way the motor has a brain in it and is going to rev up and rev down and get that perfect consistency. So this isn't just a 180 second preset. It'll rev up, it'll rev down. And by the way, when it does, that's normal. You don't right. have to call customer right. service. Right, exactly. So if you hear like somebody letting up on their accelerator, yes. we'll, we'll move this out of range of our um, microphones again, just because like I said, I'm not real happy with the on. microphones that they got because they're very sensitive. So we got to move those uh, out of range a little bit. But I guess what's important about that is it's the power. Yeah. So when you hear it cycle, remember that is a programmed setting. Similar to what they do in that other blender that I, I know you know the other name. It's a great blender, but you have to do that. Meaning you have to know when to use the tamper and the lever and the gizmo and the wasnut. This, you hit one button. Yeah. You hit one button. This now, is the lazy, the lazy oh, right. person's way to feel like a pro in the kitchen. Right. Super easy. With the same, or in many, depending on the model, in many cases, more power. Now, you also can do a manual override. Now, if this, stop whatever you're doing in your house. Yes. Tell them what you are doing, because that's popcorn, or, you know, okay. like corn. Anyone who's ever bitten into a kernel of corn and lost half their teeth or cracked a tooth knows how hard kernels of corn are. Yes. I put them below the blade. Right. Below the blade. Because I want to show you this insane amount of power. Why is that important? Because your recipes will turn out exactly as you want them to because this blender can handle any job. So check this out. Okay. Now, the okay. re... Wow. But the reason we're doing this is not only to demonstrate the power because, listen... We have other blenders here at HSN. We sell other blenders. The truth of the matter is, Blend Tech is what all other blenders wish they were when they grew up. And I'm not putting shame in anybody's game, but if you go to a smoothie bar, if you go to a juice bar, if you go to a restaurant, if you see that square carafe, this is it. This is what they are using. And not only that, it is the OG for a better price in history. You've turned that to dust. Okay, here comes the polenta. Here comes the cornmeal, the cornbread. Everything starts with a Blendtec blender. Think of pioneer times when they had a grain mill. Blendtec actually yeah. before blenders started with a grain mill and then moved into blenders that actually can still mill grain. Everything begins with your Blendtec blender from desserts and we're going to show you that as well. Yeah. Is my do you, cauliflower yeah, soup do you know what? Done? Let's do the, show the soup Let's again. Go. Dan, thank we're you for that shot. Uh, here, going left <laughs> oh, to Sorry, right. thank you, Amanda. <laughs> um, but the soup is kind of, I'll be honest with you, the soup is what sold me when yeah. I got my Blendtec. Yeah. It really was. Because the sodium in soup is crazy. Oh. Look at that. Can we talk about creamy? how much soup we have here? Yeah. We are looking at, and it's got measurements on both sides, metric, imperial. We're looking at well over four cups. This is brimming to the top. I know. So you can put it in the refrigerator after if you wanted to store some. But we, wow. look at this. Oh, okay, look how cauliflower. Creamy. Cauliflower, we had other vegetables, cheese mixed in here cheese. as well. Yep. The cauliflower soup is at Blendtec's website. I'm just gonna do that for look a little bit of color. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Wow, wow, wow. You couldn't open a can of soup. No. And put it on the stove and turn on the stove and start whisking and get rid of the can shape of the blob it's and add true. the milk. I'm telling you, this if so you good. only make soup in this, because if you have, I know you've got a can of soup in your, your pantry right now, read the sodium. In fact, in most soup, there's more sodium in a can of soup than I'm supposed to have in a day. That's no joke. So if you're just watching the sodium in your, in your life, do you have elevated blood pressure? Do you have, and again, I'm not saying this is a medical product, but you know very well if you have to watch your blood pressure, they have told you, because they've told me, watch, watch the, the sodium salt. in yeah. your diet. But I love soup. They used to call me the soup lady because I love soup so much. <laughs> but on the other side of the coin, I'm also obsessed with ice cream. Yeah. Now you have to this describe what you're doing. This is a special request. It was my special Shannon request. Spe so if you go, ew, you know who to blame. 
This is Glentech's most spectacular soup. Let me tell us uh, ice, ice cream. Sorry, okay. let me tell you. You're going to take cabbage and turn it into a cream sickle. We are putting in cabbage. We are putting in oranges. Yep. We are putting in avocado. Yep. We are putting in more cabbage. We are putting in carrots. This is going to take like, taste like one of those orange Julius type. It now does. Here's it, the secret. Oh yeah. Okay, we've got protein powder in there too. A little splash of orange extract. Yep, orange okay? extract. Okay, does the trick. If you've got kids who want all those Look at treats, that ice. This is ice that is like dry ice. And by it's the so way, you're, you're put, I know, when you see the, if I put my tongue on that, <laughs> yeah. it would be like a return of a Christmas story. <laughs> We've had enough excitement in this yes, studio. Yes, we have. We've had that. enough going on today. Good toy. Don't do that, Exactly. Please. Don't tempt fate, she says. I'm going to press the ice cream button. Yep. And I want you to pay attention to what happens now here. Now look at this. Watch how it works. It starts to rev up by itself, so it takes its time I know. because it wants to grab the ingredients at the bottom. Do you know what, Casey, will I, will I mess things up if I turn it to the side? Go I for don't it. think I'll unplug it. Go for it. Okay, Dan, because this is a really pretty shot. Do you see from the side there? So let me just poke my giant blob okay. of ice for Sorry, a I'm sec. turning things. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying not to unplug it, Amanda. I won't, don't want to, okay? I know, we've got so a, this we've got is a what system. I, and this is what I wanted you to button. see. Now, do you see? Now, when it makes that noise, it's doing it because it's part of the program cycle. Exactly. See? So when you're at home, oh wow, you will hear your Blendtec oh, blender wow. slow down. It will rev up. It will slow down. It will rev up. That's completely normal. You just go along with what's happening, and it'll take care of the rest. But do you see how that vortex is yes. pulling it down? Okay, now this is why you requested this, Shannon, yeah. because we've done this show before. Mind you, it was three years ago. Right. And you're going to end up and with this. I still remember. <laughs> because you were the taste for America, going, wait a minute, what's in this ice cream? So yeah. if you want to make it firmer, you can add more ice. In fact, I do want to add more ice. Yeah, because do you know, oh, I want sorry. it to be okay. perfect. You've made your special request. I want this to be yeah. perfect. And you know what? While that blends, maybe we can also show the mixer yeah. function. Because I want you guys to For see sure. the, kind of how it blends. Let's do brownies while we're doing the ice cream. You read my mind. Because remember, now Casey can walk away from this. So you hit that button. Now, of course, you, you press your ice cream button. Right. And then we'll step over here to right. the brownies. So we're doing baked goods. Yep. And we're doing that at the same time. So, Dan, this is the one. If, if we'll, we'll show you. Oh, perfect. He's way ahead of me. <laughs> yeah. So it's a <laughs> mixer, right? So, yeah. So you're using your stand mixer at home all the time to make your baked goods. So I want to show you what you can do here. I'm just going to gently guide my flour and my cocoa and my chocolate chips and all the goodies in here, just like so. I've got a stick of butter whoop, that's there as well. So then, Shannon, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the lid on top. Okay. And notice how tight feel, um, how tight that, that feel is. Oh, and by the way, I'm glad I got this messy. It's easy to wipe clean because the buttons don't stick anymore. Yeah. I press the batters button and I'll let that do its work while we serve up some ice cream. Yep. And then I'll take the lid off of that in just one sec and show you my vortex of punch. Okay. So we've got the ice cream. We've got mul multiple things going on Cream here Cream sickle. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, this is like a frozen orange Julius cream mm. sickle. No, I'm serious. No, so it's I, unreal. And it, guess what you've got in there? Four servings of vegetables that yeah. nobody is I'm going to realize you, that, that is literally, okay. Okay, so you taste test that. Tell me what you think. That is so creamy. I'm telling you. Is it good? It is insane. It you, is insane. It's so good. Well, I think my favorite part about the mm. creamsicle ice cream is that you've got your avocado in there. You've got your protein powder. That's you could good. eat it morning, noon, and night. Oh, my gosh, and it that's so good. it tastes like you're eating a, a, exactly an orange creamsicle. It does. It tastes like a creamsicle. So that's insane. So I press insane. my batter's button, and this mm. is the thickest batter there is. I'm going to take the lid off for you to look at what I call the vortex of fudge. So now you don't have to bring out the stand mixer. 